Second Chronicles chapter 20. And it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them other besides the Ammonite came against Jehoshaphat to battle a prey whoever is coming up against you today so sometimes it is not just one enemy but another enemy will join with your enemy and then they combat forces but today we pray that wherever they are coming from whoever they may be scatter by fire the Moabite, the Ammonites, and all the bite, bite, bite. They come to bite. Let them die by fire. <laughs> Amen. Kaya. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against you from beyond the sea on this side, Syria. And behold, they be in Hazazon Tamar, which is Injedi. Injedi is one of the famous places where they conduct battles in the old time amen it's like the valley of jehoshaphat and jehoshaphat feared yes yeah, sometimes when your enemy threatens you look at the pedigree of the enemy oh yeah yeah there are people when they tell you you die you you can sleep but uh, there are others you know their track records when they say you die you better pray there are people when they look at your car you know that no it's not ordinary look you know that you know sometimes you can attain a function and then it grieves you that you met somebody yeah it grieves you because you know their pedigree they are high alone I will see and you are done fire so this time around Jehoshaphat was a man of God but the father you are a man of God has not made that you don't fear because there are certain three things backed by demonic powers back by look at look at how Saul was afraid of Goliath for 40 days nobody could confront him he kept coming every day he would come <laughs> he said come come who among you should come and all the men of war me na me come go and he said and he served himself to seek the Lord and proclaim a fast throughout all Judah. Fasting is very, very important. Sometimes when you don't know what to do, you are afraid. You proclaim a fast. It turned to the Lord. And Judah gathered themselves together. The word Judah there is praise. Say praise. praise. To ask help of the Lord. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Eagle and of Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court, before the altar. And said, O Lord God of our fathers, art thou not God in heaven? And ruleth not thou not, uh, ruleth thou over all the kingdoms of the heaven? And in thy hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to withstand you? So, in praises, you must hit the nail on the head. There are certain appellations you give to God. God cannot but rise up. He will rise up in your defense. I say he will rise up in your defense. He says, not thou our God? Ask him, are you not our God again? Then he said, who did drive out the inhabitants? So now, they were referring God to what he did in the days of old. It's always good to thank God for your past. Thank God for all that he has taken you through. That's how I know that your future is going to be bright and brighter. The path of the righteous man is like a shining light that will light brighter and brighter onto the perfect day. Are you thinking you have seen something? You've not seen anything yet. Greater days are coming. Yeah. Tell them about greater days. <laughs> Oh yes, they have to, you have worked before. There are certain people you are serving. When you see them, you know your days. A done deal. Whoever is coming, you don't care. <laughs> you, you are waiting. But that's when you are the proper waiter. You are waiting. <laughs> Amen. May God visit us. Amen. And it says, and gave it to the seed of Abraham, thy friend forever. Look at where Jehoshaphat is going. He's, he's talking about some things. Amen. Because he knew that if God hears about uh, somebody like Abraham, God will be moved. And then, 
and they dwell therein and you have built the a sanctuary therein for thy name saying now he's talking about solomon if when evil cometh upon us as the sword judgment of pestilence or famine and we stand before this house eagle life ministries in thy presence for thy name is in this house and we cry unto you in our affliction then thou will hear and help us hey let this house become that house uh. anytime you're in trouble you're in problem and you run to the altar let the altar help you in the name of Jesus altar versus altars God's altar will help you they were telling God something referring him to some serious matters and now behold so he didn't start with the complaints do you understand me and that is where we miss it that is where the average person is always frowned is always depressed because they don't know the greatness of this our God praise God so when I come to you in the hospital and think I'll be crying, I won't cry. You see me cracking jokes and smiling. Why? Because we need to know the God we serve. Because already you are mourning. So what about if I come to add to the morning? What will happen? I come and I say, mm, ain't ye ye da, wait here. <laughs> Thank God for making me having a smile face and fat. Full of jokes. I crack a lot of jokes. Yeah. It's a message. Some people they, they front their face like uh, fetish priests, you know, like they are, they are not happy about anything. Bible says in the book of uh, First Corinthians, uh, chapter 10, verse 5 or so, it says, Many were overthrown in the wilderness because of murmuring. Because of what? Murmuring. Because of murmuring, over 3,000 people were overthrown. May you not be overthrown. Mammers, people who are murmuring, they are not grateful. Yeah. You dis you distort your system. You put toxic into your system. Yes, I know what you're going through is 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 you have made it very, very so it's not easy. It's not easy. It's, uh, that's why it's not easy. And now behold, the children of Ammon say fire in the wheat that is only your destiny in the month of December die by fire shall fire say I enter my father's house every Marbiter every Ammonite every wicked man every wicked Moor every Midianite that has been assigned to frustrate my December die by fire fire when they came out of the land of Egypt but they turned from them and uh, destroyed them not nobody can destroy you they will come up against in one way but they shall flee in seven ways uh, I curse every ugly problem that you are going through that in the night you cannot sleep uh, I curse sleepless night uh, I curse that demon now uh, in the name of Jesus whoever is after your life uh, whoever is after your business whoever is after your finances whoever is after your destiny let them die whoever is after your children die Clap your hands on your people. Hey. Verse 11. Behold, I say, how they reward us to come to cast us out of thy possession which thou hast given us to inherit. God is not an unjust God. He will not forget your work of labor. No, God will not forget to unless you don't do it well. He's not an unjust God. Praise God. He won't forget. Sometimes you think when you are looking for transport to come to church, he's, he's watching you. Whether you withdraw or you come, all the same. God is watching everywhere. Praise God. You are not alone. Because the moment you are even discouraged, those are the times you come to church. When you are not feeling fine, you come to church by faith. And God is watching. God is watching us. From a distance. Oh, our God, would thou not judge them? Of course, He will. Tell them, of course, He will. For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us, neither know we what to do, but our eyes are on you. Because sometimes you can attend the best military academy, yet witches can outwit you. You cannot. Uh, you can attend the best strategies meeting 
how to combat forces, but still, our robbers are always ahead of the police. Before the police think, they have thought. <laughs> Praise God. Our eyes are on you. Say, Father, my eyes are on you. That no matter what I'm going through, I don't know how to come out. I, you know, sometimes you don't know what to do again. But we fix our eyes on you. Amen. A time comes, you don't have any uncle. You don't have mother. You, don't, you have mother, but you don't have mother. You have father. You don't have father. Nobody is there. Then you will know that this thing, you need to look up. Bible said they look up to him. They were enlightened and they were never ashamed. He said that poor man cried unto the Lord. The Lord heard him and delivered him from all there. If only our hearts will be totally fixed on the Lord alone, he will make a way where there seems to be no way. You like the song? I look to you. The central cross of Calvary. I look to you. I look to you because my help come ever from no man but the only son oh we look to you the central cross of Calvary we look to you we look to you because our help Come up, come up from no man, but the only Son. May God help us that we can fix our eyes on Him. May you receive deliverances as we trust in the Rock of Ages. It's a Rock of Ages thing for us. Let that rock be your rock. As the mountains are around Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people, even both now and forevermore. I ah, pray in the name of Jesus, our home for ages, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If only men will believe him, if only we can trust him, he will deliver you. Your enemies are not stronger than God, your enemies are not stronger than the rock. The other day, Moses said, Our rock is a strong rock and even our enemies know it that's another level when your enemies know that what you are trusting in they can't kill you amen or oh, do you think that people don't try in the night he said when they came up to eat my flesh whilst i was sleeping they did what they stumbled and fell down it means when you are sleeping they want to visit because that's where you are helpless yeah glory but he will protect you hallelujah the way you slept, the way you woke up, you don't even know it. <laughs> and then the way he took care of you. Praise God. Sometimes you see somebody like a King Kong going about in the day, but in the night, they sleep, no, they don't know what is happening again. They are helpless. Jesus. Yeah. That's a junior brother of death. Now look at what it says, verse 13. And all Judas stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children. It's amazing that we teach our children book, but we don't teach them how to trust in the Lord. Yes. We don't teach them. We want to make them too comfortable. Take Milo, take them. But we have forgotten the Lord. Yeah, take Indomie, take uh, this, and then they give you more money into some of you. That's how you are supposed to. That more money they were giving you in your trunk. You don't know how to, but some of us, the time we left home, <laughs> you better fend for yourself. <laughs> that about fire, you better fend for yourself. Praise God. So we'll teach our little ones how to trust in the Lord. Amen. Let's go on as we then upon Jahaziel. Okay. So whilst they were praying, so something has fallen on somebody here today. Okay, listen, we are not against prophecies here. You understand me? 
every prophecy that is of God, we love it, okay? And so, free, free. If Don't sit on the gift. Unless you yourself you are not sure. Don't sit on the gift. So, whilst, is it, whilst we are praising, we are, we are doing this, yes, God can fall on any of the people. A guitarist, he can fall on you. He can fall on an organist, okay? It's the heart. Trumpeter, singer, all of a sudden, we have a word from the Lord. So, the spirit fell. May God's spirit come upon somebody here. Oh, yes. Where are those days where we'll be worshiping and then somebody receive a word for us? You know, praise God. The son of Zachariah, the son of Benah, the son of Jeel, and the son of Matania, a Levite of the sons of Asaph. You know, he was, you know Asaph wrote most of the Psalms. It was only David. David just wrote, I think, about 80 or 79 or so. But the rest, they were raised by the Asaphs. These guys were wired to worship. <laughs> of the Levite came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. Then what happened? Look at what it says. And he said, Hacking ye all Judah and you inhabitant of Jerusalem. And thou king Jehoshaphat, that sayest the Lord unto you, be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Say, Father, this battle is not my battle, it's your battle. What it also means is that the reason they are pursuing you is not because of you, but because of the hand of God on your life. So it's not about your battle, it's the Lord's battle. And then number two, he comes to take over the battle. But that does not mean that you fold your hands, you don't pray. Remember, they fasted and prayed, though. And then the Lord started speaking. Do you understand me? Yeah. And then what happened? Tomorrow go down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of seas. Kudagashata. And you shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeruel. Today I pray. Now raise your hands up and pray for you. May God expose your enemies and their plans against your life and against your destiny. Your amen is weak. Listen, one of the blessings in warfare is that you're able to locate your enemy. Okay? You're able to locate the one behind the bullets. Your eyes must open. Okay? When your eyes doesn't open, battles become very, very, uh, you know, your eyes must see. Because sometimes, the one killing you is, is with you. Say, Father, open my eyes. May they be exposed. So all they needed to do or to know was where this group was coming from. Because obviously your enemies have drawn the strategy. And where they will meet you. Is that like you are in a bush watching somebody passing, the person cannot see you. And you have mapped out your plans. When a hunter is going to shoot an animal, the hunter sees the animal, takes the plans. The animal doesn't know. He's still dancing around. Then all of a sudden, pow. That will not be your life. May God expose them. Father, expose them. Father, expose them. Because if only you can see your enemy, sometimes, even if they don't die, you'll be very careful. You will know how to go about things. There are people you are confiding in today. Tomorrow they become your worst enemies. May the Lord God Almighty give you advanced knowledge. Shout advanced knowledge. Hey, who are you confiding in today that will become your worst enemy tomorrow that will expose the plans may God open my eyes if I'm our traveling and there will be accident on the way may God may God may God open my eyes
in the name of Jesus receive a strong deliverance in the area of your eyes may your eyes be open receive discernment of spirit in the name of Jesus may your eyes be opened by fire you see the, the gift of wisdom also goes with the discerning of spirit it's the same spirit wisdom wisdom tells you what you must do you know wisdom is the ability to see your enemy's plans and their plots you understand me you'll be able to see so that if you can see that that woman is the one that will kill you you stop eating from her bowls you stop eating from what? their bowls you stop eating from their bowls haven't you eaten enough I don't think anybody will see the watches you have been buying. You see worms. That the woman was selling worms and you still go the following day. If you, the person was a spiritual dummy. Thank you. You love the song. I look to you. I look to you. Because my help come up, up from no man. Do you understand it? Are you blessed at all? No, this meeting is a blessing. No, it's a blessing. Pa. It's a blessing. It will even make you change some friends immediately. Oh, yes, you drop them. Even they say they love you, say keep your love, keep it for another person, keep that love. I have changed most of my friends in the past three years. They are not my friends again. It's not my force. When you call on pick, their phone is my phone. Abby, I've changed them. <laughs> yes. It will help you so you can fulfill God's assignment. Because when you keep hearing what they are saying about you, you see, you 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 be limping. You can't run fast. Do you understand it? You know when you are you are running and they are cheering you up, you have more stamina. But you are running and then it's, oh, 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 this one is using this, using that. Hey. But who prevents you from also using the juju? <laughs> There's a song that is coming. O san we jumba kan fu asura ba fo sorry wo i want you for to your say shira kan wu di now look at what happened verse 17 so now the whole room was shaking the wind and everything Charlie, because the the prophecy has come to contradict their fear so shall it be listen to me when you are going through something you might have a dream and in a dream you have come out very well that is when god is speaking to you because many of you don't know the voice of god you wake up in the morning and still be worried don't be worrying that let that not be your nature god can even ignite a scripture in your spirit <laughs> as you are praising god today your, your eyes are open something happened I feel spirit in the meeting. You shall not need to fight in this battle. Tell your neighbor, you don't need to fight in this battle. Sometimes you hear something, you want to just throw uh, some katana and go and face your enemy. You don't need to do that. Go and speak to that token. The token will speak for you. You know, there are things that happen and you want to take the battle to the flesh. Yeah. He just use the catalyst and <laughs> fire oh fire <laughs> amen and then <laughs> and you shall see the salvation of the lord with you oh judah and jerusalem fear not nor be dismayed tomorrow go out against them for the lord is with you now verse 19 okay and Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground so that's what you do amen and all judah and the inhabitants of jerusalem they fell before the lord to the lord amen 
Yes, you don't just have to do it in your room, you can do it in public. He said, I will declare your name in the congregation among so many witnesses. So you have to declare the Lord. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. Praise God. We said in the morning that those men that cannot bow before God will never say sorry to their wives or to their not true and the bow then verse 19 now strength has come and the Levite the priest you know on those and of the children of the Kohatite they were called to minister in special things and they stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with which voice so you don't just say It's a loud voice. Usa no juma come. And if fact, when you are loud, you, see, you can change your kiss within even about ten kids can come at the same time. <laughs> but it's all part of worship. Amen. And the Levite of the okay, so on high, then verse 20. Now the king has got this and courage you. Some courage has come, cry. And they and they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekwa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Ah, now he believes. Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. Then believe also his prophets, so shall you prosper. Hear the word of the Lord. Then the third one. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed what singers, and they praised the beauty of his holiness. And they went out before the army and to say, "Praise the Lord for his mercies and your forever." Can you imagine? Can you imagine an army who is holding a gun? But by the commandment of God, the, the soldiers were what? They were ready. Then all of a sudden, somebody coming with singing and say, "Hey, hey, hey, hey rejoice, rejoice." Is it not contradiction? It's contradiction. Because the army man has learned how to shoot. But he said, this time around, it is not shooting again. This time around, it's not fajia, fajaba, fajaba. No, this time around, it is what? Praises, worship to our God. Believe the Lord your God. You be established. Believe also his prophets. So you prosper. Yeah. So we have so many strategies. To winning battles okay so how will you feel as a soldier uh, you feel embarrassed uh, what are they saying we shouldn't shoot again but let's see what happened and when they began to sing and to praise they were singing and to praise so it's not enough to just be at one place you need to sing and just start praising okay praise the lord set ambushments against the children of ammon moab and mount Seir, which were come against judah and they were smitten so god himself was going to set the ambushment all they needed to do was to praise him one of the secrets of david was that he was praiseful David was praiseful. So sometimes you tell God, praises await you in Zion. So as I'm on this battlefield, you have to finish it quickly. And God says, so, is it praises? You are won. Go back. Because I want you back in the temple. I want you back in praises. That condition must come out today. He said, Lord, praises await you in Zion. So when you go to the battlefield, God will not keep you long there. He will finish it for you. Then you go back to Zion so you can praise the Lord. If only we could learn the secret of thanksgiving. Praise God. Now, if I tell you the numerous testimonies I have recorded in my ministry as a result of gratitude, you will never believe it. You are blocking your way because of murmuring. You are blocking your way because of depression. You are blocking. Why is it that anytime you hear a song, you say, hmm, something tanks in you. Like something break loose. You understand it? Sometimes you wake up in the morning and the atmosphere is even things because there were a lot of meetings in your house, compound house. So as soon as you slot in some music, it loses the atmosphere. That's why the prophetic ministry is also loosed by songs, by this thing we call a, a organ. Hey, God saw organ before he said, Prophet should come. <laughs> when you hear the organs, like something. Something moves inside you. So anytime you hear the organ, the word of the Lord will come. And then what happened again? They were smitten. 
and then for the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir utterly to slay and destroy them and when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir everyone helped to destroy one another now what, let me not use a bad example but your enemies came they team up and then what happened was that this group beat this group so when this group finished beating this group they said okay you you two are my enemy then they fought and killed themselves let the witches kill themselves die let the wizards kill themselves say they shall help to destroy themselves say father now you are praying some prayer this is some prayer whoever has team up against you say father every conspiracy every cons- configuration every assembly against my case as i praise you today they shall help to destroy one another by fire and what happened and what happened and when judah came toward the watch tower in the wilderness they looked onto the multitude and behold they were dead bodies falling to the earth and none escaped none shall escape their bodies fell to the earth and none escaped none of your enemies will escape i said none of your enemies will escape all the witches you pray against none of them shall escape her and what happened verse 25 as we and when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil of them said the spoil so inside praises is spoils the spoils of your enemies they took the spoils and the bible said they found among them in abundance both what riches tell your neighbor riches is in the priest oh no you're not saying it tell your neighbor for someone to say riches 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 is in the priest with the dead bodies and precious jewels as you know if you're a woman you are looking for jewels begin to do some praises the jewels will come precious jewels with they which they stripped off for themselves more than they could carry away so there is more than you can carry away in this meeting now and they were three days in gathering of the spoil it was so much how many days they used three days to gather gold today i pray your riches are coming and what happiness the story says and on the fourth day they assembled themselves in the valley of baraka say baraka in the valley of baraka for then they blessed the lord so after they gathered the thing they came back again to bless the lord and that is where Ghanaians, when god has blessed you you go back to the same altar you go back to the same man of god that was used by God to bless your life because God is not an unrighteous God he is the God of order I pray today that God will sow this secret in your life therefore the name of the same place was called the valley of Baraka up to this day we are in the valley of Baraka now I say we are in that valley today as we glorify his name as we halal as we to die as we shall die I see God visit us uh, in a very special way then verse 27 then they returned every man of Judah and Jerusalem and Jehoshaphat in the forefront of them to go again to Jerusalem with joy. You are going back with joy. For the Lord had made them to rejoice over their enemies. God, I will shut up. And they came to Jerusalem with sap trees, with harps and trumpets. Is the trumpet there? The other trumpet. The trumpet is there unto the house of the lord what happened and the fear of god was on all the kingdoms of the countries when they had heard that the lord fought against the enemies of israel they shall hear so the realm of jehoshaphat was quiet for his god gave him rest run about may god give you a run about rest 